Don't fall for the okie doke. Hey beauties, how y'all doing? I am Lissa and this is Life of Bliss. Welcome back. For those who are subscribed, thank you so much. And for those who are newly subscribed, welcome and thank you so much. If you are seeing my face, this face here for the first time, go ahead, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be updated for more videos to come. Okay, cool. So y'all, I am back. I am back and I'm ready to talk some topics with y'all. I have a lot to catch up on. So first and foremost, I very much want to say thank you so much for all my subscribers. Thank you. We are at 8K. We are growing every day. Let's keep this thing going and growing and flowing. Okay. Today we're talking about Black Lives Matter. Miss Patrice Colors. Most recently I saw this video yesterday and it was also sent to me and we're going to take a look and talk about some things. Okay. Uh, the right wing media and right wing pundits are creating a cr incredibly and have created an incredibly dangerous environment for me. Um, this morning, I woke up to Candace Owens being outside of my house with a news crew. Um, she was demanding that I come outside. Um, and uh, when I looked at the video recording of what she was asking about, she was actually asking about the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation property. Uh, and for some reason, it seems like she thought my house was that. Um, it's unacceptable and it's dangerous that anybody, any stranger come outside of my house, but it's really unacceptable and dangerous when Candace Owens, another black woman, who is actually working as a part of a right-wing agenda comes outside of my house with cameras. Um, as you all know, I've experienced, and many of us have experienced death threats. Um, many of us are ch have children. Um, many of us are um, uh, super vulnerable and uh, the fact that she's came outside my house and demanded things harassed me uh, is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. And I'm going to keep doing the work I need to do to make sure that I'm in right relationship with my community, but I'm not going to let the right wing and right wing pundit, pundits and media try to drive me against my community and have the community driven against me. I'm begging and pleading with all of you all to pay attention to what's happening to me and to many other people, many other leaders inside of this movement, pay attention to what's happening because what happened to me today has the potential to open up a floodgates, the floodgates of many other right-wing people that may next time be bearing arms, that may next time be more violent. This is unacceptable. Black people should be able to fight for our rights, for our right to live without being harassed, without being, um, fe without fearing for our lives, without having people, strangers show up to our private and personal property. I am, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm still in shock. Um, thank God. I called, obviously, my team. Um, thank God for, for community, for Black community, for Black movement community here in Los Angeles. Um, I just, I just really, really, like, y'all, I really need my family to be safe. I need to be safe. I need my child to be safe. And this, this, what happened this morning is not safety. It's not what I deserve. It's not what any of us deserve. So just be diligent when you see shit in the media. 
and you see shit that's being talked about, please be diligent. Because they are purposefully doing this. They are purposefully building a wedge between black people. Because they know that when we are together, we're stronger. And they've seen what we've done this last decade. They've seen what we've done. And so they're literally trying to destroy us. They're trying to destroy me. They're trying to destroy the movement. And I really, I just need us to be stronger. I need us to be more diligent. I need us to be more present. I need us to be clearer. I need us to be accountable. I love y'all so much. Um, Pray for me, pray for my family, and pray and check on Black organizers. Okay, so this is... Okay, I'm gonna say a few things before I show y'all what Candace Owens actually had to say about this. I hope from my content and the fact that I have changed my views so very recently that other people will open their eyes and to see more than than what is surface and this video is like a prime example of that we have seen in the in the media that there is missing funds her her verbiage and the way she's speaking is tugging at the emotional heartstrings of the people she's trying to reach of the black people and i think that we need to be very aware that that is what is happening what's very telling in this is this girl is is on she's doing too much if you have nothing to hide you can speak freely if you have nothing to hide you don't have to be doing all of this stuff that she's doing but the truth is coming out regardless of what side you're on if there's funds missing and she is fine and she's doing a documentary figuring out where the funds are it don't matter if she's on the right what matters is, is the money is missing and, wh and where is it where is it we are all individuals it don't matter what color you are if you doing corruptness just because we're the same color as you it doesn't mean we all have to stand behind you Okay, so this is insane. In real time right now, I am watching uh, Patrice Colors do a live claiming that I went to her property and demanded to speak to her. Um, and she's, I, I, I only way I can describe it is she sounds like she's really scared. Um, we're working on a documentary talking about all the funding pertaining to Black Lives Matter. Obviously, we know that Patrice and a lot of the founders purchased million dollars home, million dollar homes in white neighborhoods. Uh, they also purchased a Black Lives Matter property. So we went to the property and asked if there was anyone that we could speak to. Very politely, by the way, we've got cameras in tow, so there's no way she can. It's all on camera, and we just said, "Is there anyone we can speak to?" Nobody asked us to leave. Um, the person went inside. It was just a white man that we saw outside that was providing security, which is super interesting because obviously. Patrice here is anti-police and so she's oh my god I think she's crying on this live pretending that she was harassed we like I said very politely to the guys or anyone we can speak to um, my name's Candace Owens we never went over the gate it was just me ringing the doorbell trying to speak to someone he said absolutely nothing he started just recording us and we said okay if there's no one we can speak to we're gonna leave um Patrice is pretending to be scared because she knows that this black lives matter lie is falling apart um and she doesn't know what to do i mean people are aware of the scam that is black lives matter she's intentionally limited the comments so you can't even comment on this post because i was going to comment and be like this is a complete lie and we have it all on camera in terms of what happened so what you are seeing right now is the face of a woman who is pretending she's afraid of right-wing pundits when in reality she's being exposed as a fraud who took millions used the faces of black people took millions of dollars to fund herself to fund her lifestyle to fund her girlfriend and to buy million dollar mansions in neighborhoods where no black people live so patrice um this footage that we this story that we're covering is a, a significant one i have always been interested in the fraud that is black lives matter your fake tears your crocodile tears about someone politely ringing your gate and speaking to your white security guard and and asking if there was anyone that i could talk to because i was covering the story um 
not really going to cut it patrice this is only going to commit me further to discovering the truth about what you have done with this funding black people died you used their faces to raise money you demanded that the policing be stopped you demanded that police officers be defunded but you've got a private security detail um outside of million dollar homes it just doesn't work this way sweetheart so um the truth shall set you free or Candace Owens shall set you free girl because I'm about to tell the truth all right we're still filming bye I have so much respect for Candace Owens back when I was thinking more liberally I really didn't pay her any mind I didn't watch any of her videos any of her content but now that I'm actually paying attention to everything or I'm trying my best to um a lot of what she says makes so much sense a lot of the way she moves makes so much sense and even in her uh, saying this in the midst of Patrice Colors doing her live, it makes so much sense. If you, if you are scared of being exposed, then you amplify everything. It's almost the same as the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp case, which I'm actually about to talk about real, real soon, y'all. I just need to get um, all this info, all these little tidbits together. There's so much going on. Amber Heard has been amplifying everything recently because she can, I think she can feel or she knows that she, it ain't going well. Her case ain't going well. Patrice colors, her livelihood feels threatened. She feels threatened. Everything is, is, is kind of crumbling beneath her because to be real, you can't really do wrong for too long without it coming to light. Yeah, uh, especially on a grand scale like that, it's eventually gonna come out. And when you do, you go into desperation mode. So you try and do a call to action. You try and get on live and, and, and speak of how you feel like you're in danger, even though I'm glad Candace caught that in time so we can see the two together y'all let me know what y'all think about that i will see y'all in the next video again thank you so much for everyone that is subscribed thank you so much for everyone that is supporting like subscribe share love you beauties love yourself love others always bye beauties don't take it personal